I'll just jump right. We have got it. Well, I'll start this video today. After a huge wind yesterday, gust uh, in the high 40s, pretty cold temperatures and snow. A lot of this uh, one part of the pond here is iced up. So I'm looking at where the birds are sitting. They're kind of scattered. So with the northwest wind today, I think we have some new birds down. I've seen some pintails already this morning. I think that we are going to uh, do a little exploring and try a new spot. Getting into deep enough water again where I think we can motor, so we'll do a little exploring. This by far is the worst cover I've been in. But the birds really want to seem to sit on this point, so I'm gonna try to figure out how to get my boat hidden a little bit. Oh, this is gonna be not good. It's gonna be tough going here. All right, so we're set up. Hopefully the sun stays behind the clouds because that helps me out tremendously. I've had some birds uh, drop into the decoys here and I wasn't even quite ready. I was still getting stuff situated in the boat here. So I didn't get up and shoot their hands but not really a lot flying yet. It kicked up a bunch on the way out here. But right now it's about 26 degrees, so the water is icing up. I think we got maybe three days left and that's probably gonna be the end of it. We're gonna get down to single digits. So this is my favorite time to hunt ducks when it is icing up. There's not as many people out here. There's probably maybe a couple other guys out here on this big body of water. And uh, this is just, this can really, really be fun. One coming overhead. Oh, it was a green head. Should have shot that one. But he's booking with that with that wind and a little bit on the high side. So we'll just see if he comes back around. I think most of my birds, well, they'll probably be flying from all different directions, but hopefully not very many behind me because that's my my vulnerable point. So like I said, I do it make do with what I got. Group more right here, right here, right here. There we got one. They're starting to fly now. Go out and grab that guy. It's so hard to pay attention to both sides in front of you and be behind watching birds over here and then five packs or whatever come flying out from behind here. Go and grab that guy real quick. Fine specimen there. That's a pretty dang nice one. Beautiful bird. Beautiful bird. Oh, we can get three more like that. We'll be in good shape. Well, folks, they don't get much bigger, greener, and more beautiful than that. I tell you what, I'm addicted to this stuff. I love it. I love it. I'm not the best at it, but I love it. Comes a four pack, five pack, right into the decoys. Oh, I got one. Oh, that was perfect. I maybe jumped just a hair too soon, but it looked like they were right on me. Well, they're close enough to land right next to the boat. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Should have had two or three out of that that one but let's take what we can get it seems like i'm a one shot per round guy or one bird per round guy like i said i'm not the best at it but i freaking love it hop out of the boat so we like them stone freaking dead and green hit him pretty good i think oh this is just freaking wonderful the decoys are icing up it's cold it's not really wind. it's like perfect wind but this is just this is a duck hunter's dream right here i'm 
wouldn't that be easy shooting? No swan season in Minnesota though. <laughs> Maybe one day. It'd be interesting to see what they taste like here in the morning because this isn't where they want to be. This is like a secondary, but it is a draw. I've seen some golden eyes. Oh, there's a mallard right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Coming right in, coming right in, coming right in. There he is, folding him up. I'll call you back. Another nice one came in. I, I thought he was gonna skirt around, but he didn't. I gotta go get him, he's not hit super good. Well, he's stone cold, so we need one more greenhead and we'll have a, a limit of greenheads. I don't know if I can, oh, there's a hole there. Accomplish this or not. It is, uh, I got that ice out of there, that helped quite a bit. Oh, that's a nice one too. Oh, that's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, guys. You just can't see a better image. Beautiful bird. Another greenhead. One more. This is just the ultimate time to hunt ducks. It's icing up, cold, windy. Oh, just a delight, folks. Three beautiful greenheads right there. See if we can get one more. Oh, we got a pretty good number of them coming here. Right here off the point of the boat, about 20 of them. Let's see what they want to do. They're all greens. I don't want to be over here. So I better watch behind here. So make sure I don't get surprised behind me here. That's a diver. Oh, I didn't see the second one. I think it's a ringer or it's a bluebill. I'm gonna go grab them here. Not sure if with the GoPro, if you can see that string of geese over there, but it's a long, long ways of birds in the air. And now some birds are getting up over here too, of course. I made a little noise. Go out and get this guy and get back in. It's a hand bluebill. And I'm gonna get back in because there's a lot of geese that are maybe gonna get close here. Who knows what these geese will do? I wish I wouldn't have been uh, walking out in the water when they started flying. They likely would have flown over me, but. They're making lots of noise. Gadwall that I didn't see. If I'd been a little quicker, a little bit high. If I'd, have been, if I'd have seen a little sooner, I would have tried to grab one of them. We need two more birds for a six pack limit. If I get one more green head, we'll have our limited green heads and that's what I'm really concerned about. And I might, uh, if I do get another green head here, I might move to a spot where I might get a chance, a better chance at a pintail. That's what I'm, that's like the, like the number one goal. I've not, I've never shot a really nice pintail, one for the wall. And I think, you know, right now is probably the time to do it. These nice colored up birds are coming down from Canada and it's a good chance. Golden eye. Oh, and he's not hit good. Oh, they are so tough. I heard them coming. I was just sitting here thinking, oh, I should make some breakfast. And I heard them coming. You can hear those wings forever. And uh, he's down. I got to go try to find that, that fella. I have found him. He's still pretty lively. If I can get to him. Mess of cattails without... <sighs> Got him. Late in the year, we will get some of these birds. This is one of the most fun birds. You can hear them with their wings whistling. And they are just little tanks. But they are so, so beautiful. 
golden eyes. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't see them. I could hear them. I knew they were coming from this way somewhere. And when I finally got up, they were kind of over the cattails. So I didn't want to try and get a bunch. I just wanted to make sure I got one. Kind of the my mo, the way it seems here. I'm not uh, knocking a whole lot of birds down, but oh, what a morning! Three nice mallards so far, a bluebill, and a golden eye. So we got uh, one more to go, and I'm hoping that it's a mallard. But uh, it's just this is these are just like I'm speechless. I mean, this is the best time to hunt ducks up here is when she's freezing. The last couple of days, there's a lot of birds down. They're all colored up and beautiful. Not a lot flying right now, but if we sit here and be patient, we'll uh, we should be able to do it. All right, so I was uh, thinking a little bit ago about actually making uh, some breakfast, and that's when uh, those golden eyes flew over and kind of just jerked my thoughts back to uh, my reality here of where I am. But some people have asked me to make a video about this jet boil thing. They've never seen one before or used one. They're super, super handy. You get these freeze dried meals. This one is biscuits and gravy, and uh, it's just a little burner stove. You need a little uh, propane can. And just a little stove goes on there and you heat your boil your water and dump it into your freeze dried meal. And uh, five, six minutes later, voila, you're eating something warm, especially out here on a cold day like this. And another thing about this, this is a for sure duck call. You get busy, preoccupied doing something, you're gonna get buzzed. So you just turn your stove on like that and this little icon here will turn orange when, the, well, you'll tell when the water's boiling because it'll be boiling out the top, but this uh, flame here will be orange. So it's just kind of a, indicator but these freeze-dried meals uh this like this one takes a cup and a half of boiling water and you just let it sit for five minutes and stir it and then uh, let it sit for another four minutes and you get a, a warm meal of biscuits and gravy it's not like going to a restaurant but it's pretty dang good for being out here in the duck boat what did i tell you about the jet boil again here mallard's jumping right we have got it we have got it i told you the jet boil would be a duck call Five mallards dropped right in. Beautiful drake sitting out there in the water. Yes, this time I did not miscount. Four greenheads and two other ducks for a six bird limit. We did it. I saw these birds way up over the middle of the water and I was looking, 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 looking. Didn't see them, didn't see them. And all of a sudden I looked to my left right in front of the decoys. Wings cupped, dropping in. Oh, beautiful. Picked the closest one to me, set them on the water. There she is. Curled up mallard. Perfect. We got it. Told you that jet boil would be a duck call. Number six. Well, now I'm going to eat these biscuits and gravy and unload my gun and uh, probably really get swarmed by birds now that I got my limit. But, uh, Gonna get home, get some stuff done, get ready for tomorrow. Got my friend and his uh, young son coming up again. Hopefully we can duplicate this hunt. It'd be so cool for a little guy to see that. And uh, probably got one day after that and we're gonna be froze up and it's all gonna be over. But I'll tell you what guys, late season waterfall, you know, it's not like a lot of these videos you see where guys are shooting their limits in 10 minutes. You know, they're out in the prime, prime areas. This is just the closest body of water I got to my house. And it's a good body of water at certain times of the year. So, gonna eat, but man, I hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors, and we will see you on the next one.